What is going on, boys and girls, theys and thems? If you are interested in passive income, crypto, and especially crypto mining, you are going to dig this episode, pun intended, because I'm going to be discussing all of that and more. I'm going to be talking about why I'm getting into crypto mining, what I'm planning on mining, how I'm planning on mining it, and why I've chosen these cryptocurrencies to start mining. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose. However, if you do plan on moving forward with any of the ideas that I'm digging into, I would be extremely appreciative if you were to go down to the show notes and use one of my referral links. You'll get a discount, my channel will get some support, and I will be super appreciative. We'll both feel really warm and fuzzy, so it's a win-win, right? Also, make sure you subscribe and you've got the alert notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my future content. I am focused on generating passive income, and I'm sharing what I am learning and doing with you guys. So in case you're looking to set up some streams of passive cash flow, what I like to call lazy money, coma cash, because you can fall asleep, wake up in six months, and you've only got more money, you're definitely going to want to check out the stuff that I'm going to be bringing to you and check out the other videos I have on my channel. But let's get right into it. Why am I getting into crypto mining? Well, I've been in crypto for years. I was part of the last bull run. I made plenty of money. Unfortunately, I wasn't super great at calling the top so I definitely could have captured more of my profit so this go round, I have been more focused on pulling out profit especially on the coins that I'm not as confident in there is some stuff that I will never sell there are some coins that I'm basically throwing money in and as soon as I double I'm taking my original investment out and I'm also looking to now that we're seeing things at such crazy highs a lot of coins are at all-time highs and there's rumors of regulation and all this stuff coming we don't know where the top is but when it starts getting this high i've learned i definitely want to start pulling out some of my profit and holding it for the bear market to turn down and in the meantime i want to make sure that i can put it into some kind of financial vehicle that will render a passive income or a large long-term potential so i've been diverting a lot of my attention instead of going into day trading which is very time consuming and i'm trying to get out of that because it's really an addiction there's always another chart to look at there's always more research to do i want to start kind of emulating warren buffett warren buffett is rumored to do like a handful of trades a year but he does a lot of research and when he makes those trades they're trades for the long term and that's how he's able to aggregate his wealth so instead of spending all of his time looking at charts and going back and forth and getting in and out of things he buys he holds and he's very confident in the decisions he's making when he's making them so lately you've been seeing me make more content that's talking about longer term holds i'm looking at staking i'm looking at lending and now i'm getting into mining so now the question is what am i mining helium that's what I'm going to start off with. That is going to be my first cryptocurrency mining experience. And you're going to be right alongside with me because I am actually in the process of waiting for my miners, my rigs to come. Now, the next question obviously is going to be why healing? Why did I choose to start mining a cryptocurrency that a lot of people probably haven't heard of yet? Well, one of the reasons I'm really focused on passive income is also to start freeing up my time. I don't want to spend the time or the money with the traditional mining routes, at least not right now. With traditional mining, you either have to spend a lot of time learning how to build your own rig, source the materials, put everything together, like literally solder stuff together, learn how to code and do all the programming to get it up, or you have to spend a crazy amount of money buying a rig that is already built by somebody else. After all, you gotta think, why would somebody sell a machine that is basically printing money, right? Unless they're able to sell that for a crazy profit that's able to more than justify the time they put in, the expense they put in to build it, and then definitely give them enough money, enough profit to build multiple more of those so they can you know, build one for themselves, build one to sell, build one for themselves, build one to sell. That's what a lot of them do. You have to imagine they're probably going to charge a pretty penny for it. And when they're in such high demand, the prices skyrocket. Now, helium rigs, by contrast, are not only super easy to set up, but they're also very affordable. Setting it up basically consists of you plugging it in, 
downloading an app, connecting it to your Wi-Fi, connecting it to the app, and then you're mining. I'm sure you've probably heard about how sometimes the Bitcoin mining operations and some other cryptocurrency mining operations actually turn their machines off when either the price of the coin goes down or electricity starts getting more expensive for that time of the year because it's not cost effective to be mining them. That's how much energy typical rigs consume. Helium rigs, on the other hand, I have heard only cost about a dollar, maybe a few bucks a month to run. So what is Helium? Well, the short version is Helium is basically setting up another internet network, basically, and you would be providing nodes within that network that would expand the Helium coverage. Now, Helium is specifically focused on the internet of things. So all of these digital devices that we have in our lives and we're getting more and more in our lives that require internet connectivity will run on something like the Helium network. Think of it like a cell phone company. For a cell phone provider to be able to have coverage in certain areas, they need to have antennas set up, right? Well, the more antennas they have, the more coverage they have, right? Well, instead of Helium having to invest in all of these antennas, you are basically able to become a node or an antenna in the Helium network. So you are providing the signal, the connectivity for the Helium network. The more nodes that are out there, the more miners that are out there, the better the coverage, the more it's used, and you get a piece of the profit for just providing that network. So now instead of Helium having to buy a bunch of antennas and lease property and set them up and do all that jazz, they are ingeniously partnering with private individuals and cutting us in on the deal. So why aren't Helium rigs as expensive as traditional rigs? I'm sure you've seen the videos of traditional mining operations where they have racks upon racks upon racks upon racks of miners just humming away mining Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever the currency is. Let's go back to my analogy of the Helium mine being like a cell phone tower. Now, would you want to have a bunch of cell phone towers in one area? No, right? It wouldn't really provide a lot of coverage outside of that area. It's better to have them all spread out. So if you're making these miners and you have a warehouse full of miners, you actually don't make as much money as you add on more and more miners because they're already covering the existing area and you're being compensated for covering a new area and extending the network, not just compounding that coverage in that area. It's not really useful to Helium and it's not gonna be able to pay you more money. Doubling the amount of miners you have in your house, tripling, quadrupling, does not scale up your profit. The law of diminishing returns is immediately applicable as soon as you start buying multiple rigs and having them housed in one area. So if I'm manufacturing Helium miners, I don't really have interest in having a warehouse full of them. It's easier for me to justify selling them, making a profit that way, and letting other people partake in the network. That's what's really ingenious about this, is it keeps people from hoarding miners. That makes miners more affordable, that means more people will get involved, that means there's gonna be more distribution, a better network, more coverage, and everybody gets to partake in it. So how much can you make mining helium? Well, it all depends on your area and how many miners there are nearby, which I can get into in more detail in another video. But the short answer is you can assume that miners in a congested city are gonna make more money than miners out in a rural area. And everyone in between will be on a sliding scale. However, depending upon how many miners are in that area, that could also fluctuate. There could be miners miners in suburban areas that are actually making more money than the miners in the middle of a big city. And I'll actually show you that in another video. Might be popping up right here. Now I've seen people making all sorts of different types of money, but a lot of them are ranging between one to 14 helium per week. And right now the current price of helium is $14. So you can do the math. And in case you can't, that's a range between 14 and $196 per week. And that's for just plugging something in, connecting it to your Wi-Fi, connecting it to an app. I've also learned some ways that you can increase the amount of money that you're making with your miner or miners, hint, hint, but I'll save that for another video. I've got more content on mining helium and other cryptos as well as other methods of passive income like staking and lending. So make sure you've subscribed and you've got those alert notifications on so you don't miss out on any of it. And also check out the other videos and playlists on my channel, which should be popping up at the end. And don't forget about my referral links in the show notes so you can save some money if you decide to move forward with any of these. Thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you next time.